How would you like to make porridge that tastes like cake? Yep, this is the next in the series of nutritional videos of oat cuisine. Based on oats, this is going to be carrot cake porridge. Yum. This recipe is super simple and easy to make. You need a carrot, an orange, some oats, some currants or raisins, or even chopped dates if you don't have currants, some low fat milk, you can use a vegan alternative if you like, but it will have less protein probably. Some ground cinnamon, some ground ginger, tiny bit of vanilla essence, and some low fat and if possible high protein yogurt. And a grater, which is great. You should start by grating about a third of a rind of an orange, more or less depending on how much you like the flavor of orange, and finally grating a carrot. Now the size of the carrot is important. It should be around 100 grams, which I reckon is about an average size carrot. Uh, if it's a bit more or a bit less, it doesn't matter too much. But if in doubt, go for 100 grams of grated carrot. Now I'd just like to say here that I am a strong believer in using this kind of grater to grate citrus peel, not this one, because it all gets stuck in the grating holes and then you can't use it. So I go for this one. Other people believe differently, I know. Now, your carrot should be finely grated because although it is carrot cake porridge, you don't really want chunks of carrot in your porridge. Grating the carrot and the orange peel is absolutely the toughest part of this recipe. So once you've done that, you are over the mountain and it's plain sailing all the way home. We're just going to shove a load of ingredients in a saucepan. So our carrot and orange peel. Try not to spill even more of it. To the carrot and orange peel we add about 90 grams of oats, which is about a cupful, and 50 grams of currants. If you don't have currants, use sultanas or raisins, any kind of sweet dried fruit. 250 mils, which is a cupful of low fat milk. A few drops of vanilla essence. Half a teaspoon each of ground cinnamon and ground ginger. Now, if you happen to dislike cinnamon or ginger, just don't put them in. Once you've got everything in the saucepan, super simple, just heat it really gently for five minutes. And uh, if you don't have a stovetop cooker, you can simply do this in the microwave, or in fact, you don't even need to cook it. You can just leave it in a pot or a bowl overnight in the fridge and the oats will soak up all the fluid. While it's heating, you should stir it occasionally gently, but you don't need to go crazy with the stirring. With all the oats and carrot and the currants, this recipe has a great mix of complex and simple carbohydrates. It's also got 24 grams of protein in, so it should keep you feeling full for a lot of the day. With all the fiber, however, from the oats and the carrots and the orange, it's probably not ideal to eat straight before a really hard ride. So it's fine before a long, steady ride, but not straight before doing intervals. Once you've heated it for about five minutes gently, it should have thickened up into a nice gloopy porridge. If you're using a microwave, try not to boil it because that really ruins it. Tip it out into a bowl because this is a single serving and you won't want to share it because it's too delicious. Now, if you like your porridge hot, at this point you should add 50 grams of high protein, low fat yogurt. If you want to eat it cold, let it cool down before you add the yogurt. Just dollop it on top. If you want to make it look fancy, you could add some tiny little shreds of carrot. Can you tell I really like carrots? There you go. Mmm, carrot cake porridge. Mmm. Now, if you want it a bit sweeter, you could add some honey, but I think it's pretty sweet already from the currants and the carrot. That's delicious. If you like this video and you found this recipe delicious, then feel free to give us a thumbs up. And you might like to check out the first recipe in this series, which is also cake for breakfast, banoffee pie, overnight oats.